Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as uh, the Celtic Union. Let's continue on from where we last left off. I just somehow noticed that we are actually second in industrial power. The Aishari is slightly beating us by 10 points. Uh, one second. Okay, so, um, the Aishari has, uh, 10 more industrial points than we do. I mean, that probably wouldn't be too hard to fix. Once again, open all factories, make sure... A lot of these factories have nobody in them. Celtic Ocean, Indian Territories, Celtic Holland, Normandy. Do we even own Normandy? Like, is this not Normandy here? It is. Oh, this island is considered part of Normandy, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Um, so with all that, there's a lot of empty factories. And I'm mostly focusing on clerks for a... Uh, like, what is the clerk population? 0.08. We've, like, quadrupled it since we started, but... Let's open up more factories. All the factories in the world must be built. And I think maybe we should also be upgrading our forts? Oh, no, we actually can't, because we only have level 1 military tech. But thankfully, actually, only... Everywhere else just only has seems to have level 1. Italy has level 2, because they think they're so special, but... You know, other than that... Got our troops over here in Nezd. Uh, you go to defeat that army. You, not you two. Yeah, you go. You go here, and once you're both done your sieges, you go attack the twenty-one stack. Yeah, he's running away. He's gonna go. He's gonna attack my two stack. Wow, that's just a really, really mean thing to do. Because apparently they can they can run faster than my army, so that's not very good. Oh my god, like, I can't... Yeah, he's, he's talking about the Binding of Isaac expansion. Uh, you done your siege yet? Yes? No? Maybe so? There you go. So you're gonna stop him, and then you're gonna go attack him. Hopefully that'll work. You go here to make sure that he doesn't run off. 2.9 war score. Uh, 45. Will you say yes? No. We'll kill the 20 stack. Go here, I guess. Follow him. We'll be able to kill his 20, no problem. Even with only infantry, we should just be, like, just objectively better than them. Because our troops are just so good in comparison. Hey, Afghanistan, if you want to add, you know, war goals, you know, I will absolutely allow you to. I'm not even going to siege any of this territory. Because of, um, if I do, you might not demand it. Uh, are you going to the right provinces? Uh, you are not. See, the 13 stack should stay behind. The 18 stack should follow. Make sure they basically die. Like, he's, he's going to give us all four. But I want... I'm going to actually decline it, because I can even add another war goal if I wanted to. I don't know where I would add it. Because I don't want to intrude on Afghanistan's territory. I've already taken here, here, and there. So this is like the only state I could take that wouldn't look terrible. So take a Delhi. Oh, we can't. We don't have enough jingoism support. Don't they know for, for the, it's for the good of the empire, people. They need to be. They require six point, six point two percent of people are saying no to this. They don't understand. This needs to happen. I mean, at a war goal. It is going up. I mean, that's that's good. I'm going to say keep saying no to your peace deals because I do want, um... Like, I just want Afghanistan to demand their war goals. Like, demand your cores back, Afghanistan. Like, I, didn't think, I don't think it's that hard for you to do. So you siege that, go up and around, go here... I mean, you go kill that army. You go kill the hyper bad. I mean, do we have a ticking war score against us? We don't. We actually don't control most of the territory that we're demanding. So we like we should be getting a negative war score, but we're not. <laughs> okay, you know what? Afghanistan, you've, you've you've had your chance. Oh no, I wanted to demand something else. 
I completely forgot. Either way. We've drastically increased our presence in India. So you go here. You go here, I guess. Stop, stop. Actually, we're going to go to probably invade Golconda next. Once we release some satellite states, we're going to probably attack Golconda. You guys can stay up north. But these four armies are going to march south, basically. Assuming you're not going to run into... Actually, no, we don't need that many troops. You can stay up north. So now that we... Like, I want to keep these super big states. But other than that, like, I think there's one province here. Once again, let's look. Let's look for very, very small countries. Like, Punjab, three provinces. I think they're somewhere up here. Yeah, th these three. That's Punjab. We can release Punjab. Absolutely fine. Uh, we can't because we're also at war with Nezd. So, you know, as of right now, we are going to slow down our, uh, you know, our, our Indian expansion. Like, we've already taken over so much of the subcontinent. God, Wanda's here as well. We need to take them out as well. Either that or satellite state them. But they are in our sphere, and we actually can't attack unless they're not in our sphere. It costs one infamy to remove them from our sphere, as well as some, you know, prestige. Which is definitely an issue. So I guess until that happens, we'll send a, uh, like, a 15 stack. Will Kara help us in this war? They won't, because they have a truce. The Ottomans are impossible. They will not join it. I don't know why, but they're just, you know, they have no interest in this arrangement. No, yeah, you stay here. We'll send a 21 stack down. They can, like, see Jomon or something. Maybe it would be better to have the, uh, giant stack sieging everything. Instead of, uh, doing it slower by, you know, trying to carpet siege. Like, there is no recon efficiency, because there's no horses here. I don't even think I had any war exhaustion, but that's fine. Yeah, so you go here. You guys go in the boat, go to Muscat. Like, they have no troops. Like, they have, they have nothing. And this army actually doesn't have any, uh, siege efficiency, but I don't think that matters, actually, if there's no fort level. get iron steamers very soon. We're going to have to build a lot of, um, ironclads. We have so much supply. A vast majority of our supply is being taken up by commerce raiders, but... Eh, 30 is being taken up by, uh, old, outdated ships. We might get rid of those. Or I might just keep a giant, small... Well, a giant, but, uh, light fleet. So after Iron Steamers, I think we're going to go for a dig-in bonus. Yeah, so you go to Bahrain. You're going to siege down that. We're at 19%. Like, how many people we have in our sphere compared to everybody else? Yeah, he's max speed plus 2%. Isn't that fascinating? So we got Iron Steamers. Naval plans... I don't care about these much, these too much. Strategic mobility would be good. I mean, all these would be good, but I don't think they're super important. And we do have the, you know, the minus 5%. So maybe doing, um... Oh, no, we need the research points. Even though we get, the, you know, the minus 10%, we do need the research points. The nice little bonus. So we can't... We have to wait until this war is over before we can even start fabricating. Because I cannot risk... Being over the infamy limit. But I think we're going to release Punjab in the north. Uh, I think there's somebody else in this region we were able to release. Yeah, you're going to see much faster this army sieges than the, uh, the other 20 stack. And where do most people live in Nej? Mostly in Oman. And uh, there's some guys over here, but... Like, this isn't very good for a, uh, like a workforce. There's not going to be a lot of people here. But I, I think it gets oil. Either that or it's a bit further north. But, you know, Kara's in a sphere, so... If oil does spawn in the more northern parts of Arabia, then we will still have access to it. Which is great. We're making so much money right now. Let's lower taxes, because we don't need taxes to be this high. Actually, what we can do is, uh... Well, tariffs are at 60%. Let's drop down there, like, to 20 Increase tax on the rich because they're not really doing much for us. You guys, you like, 
Afghanistan, you were just in a war where you could have taken these territories, but you just decided not to. I like how I didn't even get a pop-up to support Delhi. Apparently Portugal also wants to give Afghanistan its course. I think... Like, I think I said before that if one great power decides to uh, intervene, but there's no one on the other side, that something else should happen other than nothing? Either that or have it where... Um, if the three great powers support one country and nobody supports the other side, then really it should just happen. If, you know, me, France, and the HRE all say that Delhi should get back um, Afghanistan, Delhi probably would not refuse. Because that'd be very suicidal of them. Nej. We're at 59%. I know, I know you won't say yes until we're at 100, but still. You should just, you should just surrender. Like, you have nothing to win. Also, we actually need to build these, uh... And I actually still need to invent them. What's the percentage chance for that? They have a base 5%. Have monitors. We don't even have monitors yet? Oh, no. Oh, so they just increase each other's percentage. Is monitor a light ship? They are. They're slower, but they're... They're, they're tankier, but I don't know if they're considered a heavier light ship. Yeah, like the men of war is objectively better than the frigates. I mean, the common traders are going to be completely outclassed by the monitors. I think maybe we should just get rid of the... Well, I don't want to get rid of them until after the race for Africa, because if we get rid of all these ships, that's a lot of points we're not going to have. Unless we can somehow rebuild faster than we, you know, disband the ships. I, mean, I don't think that's a very likely uh, thing to happen. And I think they can only be built, be built out of level 3 ports. And right now, uh, we, we only have, like, 3. I mean, soon, within 2 years, we can start building a lot of them. But before that... You know, it's not going to go super, super great. And really, I think we should need to actually stockpile more military goods. Like, right now we have a maximum stockpile of 32, but I think if we just go up to, like, 100. Then we should never run into a supply issue. Because if we just have such, such large stockpiles of stuff, then even if uh, we cannot buy enough, we should always have enough in our, you know, in our market. So that's just, like, the basic military goods. We're going to lose a lot of money. For a few days, we're going to lose so much. But eventually, it's going to go back. It's going to equalize. Stabilize, equalize. The same thing. It'll eventually sort itself out, though. And we will have enough money that, uh... It's not going to be too big of a deal. Military spend... Like, we could probably also cut down military spending. Especially right now. Uh, military spending doesn't... Let's go like, down to 70%. I know the Geneva Convention locks it at 70, but I don't know when that actually happens. Value of the Kings. If we own Luxor, we can do that. I don't know where Luxor is. Is that somewhere... It's gotta be, like, here, right? Yeah, there's Luxor. The Ottomans could do it, but we can't. Then our Sphere. But that's not good enough, apparently. And I don't feel like going to war with the Ottomans over, like, 10 prestige. 0.1 prestige a month for the rest of the game. I mean, that's, you know, a decent amount of prestige. That'll, like, that's 200% more than what we're making out of the base right now, but... I don't know if it really matters that much. We need machine tools, we need nitroglycerin. Where are those located? In technology, I think they're in industry. Nitroglycerin's here, and we need machine parts for it. I think it's in under... No, 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 no. Machine tools, okay. So we could do it right now. Is that actually all it takes? Machine tools and nitroglycerin. You think it'd be you think it'd be harder than that, because I don't think the Shields Canal was built until like the eighteen nineties. But here it's like eighteen fifty and you can do it. I know the French had attempted it earlier, but even then I think that was in the eighteen seventies. So, you know, maybe after imperialism, we will try, or, em emperism, we will try to gain South Georgia as a core. Oh, that's good. But after that, we might try to 
I guess they're both in industry, isn't, aren't they? That's disappointing. Actually, no, we, we don't have a... There's no debuff to industry. So, South George is a core. All 86 people are now, you know, the jure part of our empire. What was the other place we did? Like, this island over here? Eventually, that'll probably become a core. Okay, Nej. You had 74%. Uh, first Bengali novel. They're not allowed to write my country. Those bastards. Okay. War of Mongeek's mission. That war is still happening. Spain can't figure out how to get over here. And it's still completely overrun by reactionaries. I don't know why the country hasn't broken yet. And there's, and then there's this war against Kui. Who are they at war with? Jin and Japan? Like, they can't, they can't even fight back. Like, come on. And Chu is getting very, very strong. They might be able to form China. Well, I said maybe, but now they probably can't because Russia took over uh, Manchuria. Before that, then they probably had a chance. Actually, maybe they didn't because this area is also owned by Russia. It's a bit hard to say, though. So you took that, go over here. Nej, like, 79%. You should just say... You should just say yes. The war's over. Also, I need, like, I need to inv invade Golconda down here. Because I, uh... Well, one, there's one port here we could be building. And, uh, let's see, states. What state's this part of? It's part of this one. There is a, there's a naval base there, but... You know, that's one naval base we could be building that we do not have. So we need to take your we need to take your territory so we can build boats. It's very important. I mean, we can also just do the um, like puppet, but I say I think puppet's eleven. So I think it's actually better just to annex them and then release them. Actually, let's see. Make puppet is ten. Establish protector. It's it's the exact same. So I'd rather just own it directly. Because I think if we try to... Well, we can annex them and... Or puppet them. Because we try to release the Master Brigade on all, all that territory. And that's a lot of territory. But I think we're just going to go with the... Uh, good old fan good old fashioned annexation. Okay. Nej. 89%. It says 85, but no matter what, they like need the 100. Let me just stand here for a second. This guy will be done his siege soon. There we go. We can build ironclads now. Fantastic. These ones, I think, give you the most bang for your buck. Like, it's three supply weight, but I think they give you ten each. And they're also just so much better than the Comets Raiders. We'll build six right off the bat. Because we only have enough ports to build six. And then by uh, mid-next year, we'll start pumping out a lot more. Maybe also do some monitors as well. Like, what's the difference between an ironclad and a monitor? I can't see what it takes to build a monitor right now, but once, um... And it should actually be a 7% chance now. Also, torpedo boats? Just makes comrades raiders better. Oh, actually, that's good. So instead of being 6-6, six, six, it'll be 8-10. Yeah, it'll be 8-10, which is, you know... They're still worse than monitors, but I guess they're not going to be completely worthless. So we don't need to get rid of them immediately. Okay, now you have two... Two f deserts. There's 14,000 people here. I mean, your capital, I think, only has like... Yeah, there's just so... There's just so few people living in this region. Muscat has the most. Yeah, there's just nobody living here. Is there that few people here in real life? Like, I thought Arabia had, like, like a million people in it or something, but... What do I know? Ethiopia is too big to annex. They have one... They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Sun State actually isn't that much. These are, yeah, those are two different regions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... We can do two, like, two wars against them and take all that land. Okay, you finally decide that we should just annex you. I guess we'll put our, we'll keep our troops here, just on the uh, 
Odin border. And I do like House of Skeletic Arabia. That's just because of, um... I don't know if there's anybody that we can see, but all this area is considered Arabia. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end the video. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you not enjoyed, please thumbs down. I want to see more subscribe and goodbye.